Hey everyone, welcome to a Render Spaz video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can remove noise from your 3D rendered images using V-Ray. Um, that's a big part of a problem that becomes uh, when about uh, rendering images uh, with any typical render engine you usually have a problem with noise and um, a lot of times you know noise gets in the way and it can affect your image quite drastically so you want to make sure that you get rid of that noise as much as possible but also sometimes you just have render times that can increase dramatically and if you're on a tight deadline um, that can really um, put a hard toll on you and uh, you know and the clients waiting and uh, you need to get these renders out you want to make sure that uh, you know it's not noisy or even if you're just trying to learn how to make better rendered images uh, sometimes you run into these pitfalls of noise issues and um, and yeah, and it's just very frustrating to to not be able to get rid of the noise. So what I'm going to do is uh, there's a lot of tutorials out there, um, but I'm just going to show you some of the steps that I use with my renders and how I get rid of noise and uh, how I have clean uh, images or for most of the part. And um, I'm just going to give you guys a brief rundown of what I do here. Okay, so I'm just going to render out what I have here. Is just some simple spheres that I've uh, laid out. And uh, I'm going with a very, very basic scene here. It's just going to be... Uh, uh, pretty much grayscale. Uh, I'm not going to add really any color. I will show you something with a material later on, uh, but I just really want to just narrow down the noise. That's all I'm uh, focusing on in this tutorial. So let's go to render setup here, and I'm just going to render a 720, quite high res, uh, of this image here or of this scene, um, pretty much at default settings. Okay, what I've done was I've started with a uh, V-Ray um, light, okay, and that's a dome light, and um, I have that in the scene at a multiplier of one, so I'm just going to go with the default settings here, and uh, I'm going to hit render. Okay, so pretty much what it's the image that I have here. I have depth of field added to this uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So uh, we're going to work with this kind of image here. It's pretty much the macro of these spheres. So what you see here is um, with just the dome light applied, um, we don't have any GI in the scene at this moment. Uh, we see quite a bit of noise and we've got a lot of dark shadows, okay? Um, and this is kind of the, obviously we're not gonna go with this render because this is just a very standard uh, render. But if I was to now uh, add our GI into the scene, Okay, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it as is, okay? Default settings, hit render. And also I have down here the render times added, so you'll see the differences there. Okay, and also I'm going to get my history here. So we can already see in the render we get a better looking image here um, just with the GI applied. And sometimes some people don't want to add GI. If you don't want to add GI to your scene, uh, you know, there's ways to go around this. But uh, we're going to stick with the GI for now. And um, as you can see, the difference is here. Okay, this is with out the GI, and then with the GI, you can already see there's a drastic change in the noise. Our render times have increased, obviously, with the um, with the GI, but not by a lot. But that's just a good start, okay? Um, I haven't even touched any of the noise settings within V-Ray itself here, uh, but what we really want to focus on here is uh, looking at our lights. And our lights have their own properties built in um, that you can see. So this is the V-Ray light, this is the dome light here. And what we can see is below here, uh, and this is pretty much, you know, if, uh, I would say this is a beginner's to intermediate uh, uh, lesson, but uh, right here we have a sampling, okay, and our subdivisions are usually uh, set to 8 by default, okay, um, so what we got to do here is change this, and I actually will change it, go to like a 16 say, all right, we'll render this one out. Okay, 
and you can already see a difference. Right, so when I look at now our, uh, our two scenes here, here's the old scene that we just had uh, with the uh, with the sampling subdivision at 8 and here's our 16 and you can already see the noise difference here. Okay, let's just zoom in a little bit more. You can see it's crisping up a bit here. Okay, that's just at 16. We can almost go with this as a final, but there's still a little bit more that uh, you can tweak and that's just pretty much by taking the subdivision again and applying it more. So 24 and I'm keeping an eye on our render times and as you can actually look it's 15 seconds now okay so it's even faster it's actually faster than the non-gi image that we had first rendered out all right with the, with the massive amount of noise so here's the difference here and there's a drastic difference okay so the gi also takes care of a lot of the uh, shadows we're not going into it this is not really a gi uh, tutorial but uh, it just goes to show you uh, some major differences there all right, so we're going to change the sampling to 24 subdivisions. Now we're going to hit render. All right, we're going to see what we're going to get. See if there's any some, there's some difference uh, to our render times. But already we can see we got even better image. This is not with even using the settings uh, of V-Ray, uh, especially like the noise threshold and all that inside the uh, V-Ray settings okay this is just all by the light properties and this is giving us these nice results all right so here's the differences between the two so here's our old this is uh the 16 subdivisions this is the 24 so you can already see we get some differences all right and a 16 so we're only uh, lost you know not that much time between the two here okay 16 seconds 15 seconds um, and if I want to, maybe I can even go 48. I don't know. I'm just I'm gonna go a little higher here. Let's just see if we can get away with it. Now this is obviously a render that doesn't have any materials applied, nothing for, to reflect off of. Uh, but uh, you can see our noise, uh, how our noise is reacting here to this image, and uh, what the render times are costing us, depending on the settings that we have here. Okay, so here's 48, and the other one was 24. So here's our 24, and there's our 48. So you can't really tell the difference between those two besides that the render times have changed quite drastically there. Okay, you can see a little bit of differences here. All right, so I'm gonna go back to 24, because I'm liking that. All right. And then another thing that you can be aware of is the more lights that you add to your scene, you're going to um, you're going to lose more noise. So it's going to take care of a lot of that noise depending on your light added into the scene. So I'm going to bring in a I already have it set up. I just got to turn it on here. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to move this out of our way. I'll go over to our sun setting here. I'm going to turn this on. Okay, and I just set it up very simple. Okay, and we're just going to render as is. Now, the other thing is here, I'm going to just bring this to your attention, is I have the size multiplier set to 8. So that's going to get scatter our shadows a bit. So the higher this number is in the sun, the more uh, scatter of the shadow, uh, the more softer it's going to become. So right now, as you can see, I've added in a new set of lights, or a new set of light, or a light, <laughs> which is our sun. So what um, what we got here is, I'm just gonna bring back our history. Where did that guy go? I'm just gonna, all right. So here's the image that we just rendered with the 48, okay, uh, sampling. And then here's us adding the sun in and then going back to 24 subdivisions in our um, samplings for our shadow. 
But now we notice, okay, we got a new light in here and it's also casting new shadows. Okay, because the sun is bouncing from the uh, from the corner here and our shadows are bouncing into each of the other spheres. But you notice that we have some more uh, noise that we have to take care of from the new shadows applied. And that's because, of course, we have our subdivisions here in our sun property, our V-Ray sun, uh, that subdivision has to be changed. So if we change this either to 16, okay, let's re-render this guy. In fact, what I'll do is I will uh, region render this section. Let's render this guy out. You can already see we have a drastic change in the shadow itself just from the subdivision changing here. So if we're gonna go back up to I'm going to go to 24. Right, let's find another spot here. We'll render here. Okay. Take a look at that. And I don't know if you can see that uh, on your screen here in the recording, but there is a major change here in the pixels. You can see how much we tighten it up. So let's do a full render. And we still have very fast uh, render times here. So this is amazing. Um, and everything is handling quite nicely. And the image is looking very, very nice. So we now have better shadows that are looking good. This is at 24 subdivisions. Uh, that's a nice number to stick with. Uh, and the render times are 18 seconds, 18.7 seconds. So. That is quite, that is very nice, and it's not that much different between our, we got our 19, okay, and that's, you can see that's 19 seconds, so, and that's with the uh, subdivisions of our sun set to 8, it's pretty much default properties, and as we go back up to um, our 24, look at that, okay, you can just see the drastic change from this to this. That's what you want. All right. So that is pretty much it for our our light. Okay. Uh, and the next thing I want to tell you about is noise within the material. So sometimes what happens is you'll run in where you need to have some kind of either brushed metal or you know something that has a some reflection that's a little bit blurry and there's some blurriness to that reflection. So. Let's create something very quickly here. Okay, so I'm going to create a material. All right, we'll go down here, V-Ray material. And I'm going to make a chrome. Okay, so I'm just going to do this quite quickly here. Nothing. I want to make sure it's, uh, it's got a little bit of um, softness to our reflection. And I'm just going to apply this, okay, to this sphere here. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to render this out. So as you can see, this is not looking too bad because our light setups between our V-Ray sun and our uh, dome light is because of the, those samplings the samples of the uh, shadows there um, are already taking care of a lot of our noise, but we can go a little further in our materials and tighten these guys up as well. So as you can see, we got a little bit of noise going through this material. So our materials, well, in the V-Ray materials, um, and the one that we've created here, our subdivisions are set to eight. Again, it's by default, we always have the eight numbers, so what we're gonna do because again, we can go to 24, all right, or 16, uh, but I'm gonna stick with 24 and see what we get here, all right? Because we've added Chrome, our time went up a little bit to 20 seconds from 18, okay? But I'm gonna show you the difference uh, with those uh, samples, with the samples of the material uh, and what that does as well. You can already tell there's gonna be a major difference here. So let's uh, go back to our old. Here we go. Here's with the 8. Here's with the 24 okay, of the sampling. 
So there you have it. All right, guys. And uh, that's pretty much it. Stick with those settings. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that uh, you guys have questions or comments, just feel free to contact uh, RenderSpaz at uh, www.renderspaz.com and stick, stay tuned for more tutorials. And guys, uh, have a good holidays and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay.